Hey everybody, Jason here, and today the Ghostbusters news Halloween countdown continues. And over the years here on the channel, I've had the chance to unbox and review tons of Ghostbusters Halloween inflatables. And among my favorites have been the exclusives made by HalloweenCostumes.com. For a slight refresher, last year we took a look at their Ecto-1, and the year before that, their 25-foot-tall Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And today, we're going to be inflating their newest Ghostbusters decoration, the Firehouse Headquarters. That's right, why go to New York City to see the Firehouse when you can bring the Firehouse to you? When it comes to the box it comes in, there's not too much to see. As I've stated before, Halloween costumes, they only deal online, so they don't have to worry about fancy packaging. Should also note here, I was kind of like a five-year-old on Christmas morning. I couldn't wait for this video review. Yeah, I already tore into this thing. Oh, here's the Ghostbusters logo sign. So cool. And in having the firehouse in hand, I mean, partly in hand, it doesn't really seem all that big. Um, I could likely inflate it here in the collection room, right? Right? No, no, no. Clearly, I have made, I've made a mistake. I, I have made a mistake. Help! All right, so here we are outside, cause uh, yeah, turns out this thing is big. How big? Well, here I am next to it. The Ghostbusters Firehouse Inflatable measures nine feet tall, 10 feet long, and seven and a half feet wide. So yeah, forget big, this thing is enormous, especially in person. For setup, I would say it only took about three or four minutes, and to securely fasten everything in place, it does come with eight ground stakes as well as rope ties. When it comes to print details, I think this looks pretty good. There's the red brick, the windows, I love the added detail here of dripping green slime. And taking a look at the front here, as I already gave you a bit of a sneak peek, it does have the no go sign as well as the double doors. And speaking of doors, the front of this inflatable firehouse, it does open, being held together by Velcro, allowing you to walk right inside. And once inside, there's not really too much to see, but I'm sure a kid or maybe a 40-year-old adult could turn this into the coolest Ghostbusters-themed playhouse ever. Looking above, there is no top, which at first I was kind of bummed about, but come on, people pay a fortune for skylights. As well, the backside of the inflatable, it's just open, which makes it even easier to get in and out of. I did allude to it earlier, but last year as part of the Ghostbusters News Halloween Countdown, I did take a look at HalloweenCostumes.com's exclusive Ecto-1 inflatable. And I think the biggest question I had, as well as some other fans, is given the size of the firehouse, could you fit the Ecto inside? Well, it is a tight fit, but I am happy to report, yes, you can put the Ecto in the firehouse. Seriously, somebody better play the bus boys because this Ecto is just begging to squeal out of those front doors and clean up the town while running some red lights. Oh, and in speaking of lights, the firehouse also includes integrated LEDs, making it perfect for display during the day or all night long, especially on Halloween. If you'd like to trap one of these inflatable firehouse decorations, making it part of your decor or collection, it's in stock and available now exclusively from HalloweenCostumes.com, and you know we've got that direct purchase link down below in the description. Now with that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below. And we'll see you right back here next time as the Ghostbusters News Halloween Countdown continues. Spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. The numbers five 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 two three six eight. But before you call, let's get something straight. What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues, the cure for sure. Jason's the guy who's doing 